Hey guys, Xiaomi today, we are playing with the Wind Panda in RTA. He got buff in the last balance patch, making him so much Thank you. Oh, this is the perfect test for the for the extra damage. All right, hit me. Come on, you have to. <laughs> There's no other way around this. I'm going to enjoy the new buff in the balance patch, baby. Bring it on. Oh, oh crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Chi Wu. The Chi Wu will take my buff away. The Chi Wu. I will die. I need a vampire instead. <laughs> he still does so much damage. So if you have higher defense than the enemy, you get 20% damage reduction. He's already very tanky. Now he's just kind of tankier. But the buff didn't really address his weakness, which is defense break. If you get defense broken, that is like minus 70% defense. Any other attacker will have higher defense than you. So if you get defense broken, that is pretty much it. And usually if I see Wind Panda on RTA, the only kind of people that can use him is people with Ragdoll so that you can play a true turn two or some other broken LD5 that's great for turn two. But usually it's Ragdoll and this guy might be drafting a Ragdoll right at this moment. So we're going to block his attempt at one-shotting me, trying to survive that. And we're going to have a Juno to strip whatever he's doing. Oh no, I don't think I can survive that guy, right? Because usually you have to build Wind Panda with some sort of defense. So my HP is acceptable at best, but definitely not the tier that would survive that. Hmm. What do I do to survive whatever he's doing over there? I'm going to go for some HP leader. We're going to ban... Do I ban the Viva Chell? I think I might be banning the LD5. But I think let's ban this guy. No, we're going to ban Viva Chell. So that Leo doesn't really do anything against me anymore. So we have HP leader. We have damage reduction on a Wind Panda. But I'm pretty sure Juno might be the one that will go down first. Here we go, guys. Okay. Did you guys see the damage reduction? Was it significant? <laughs> I mean, it was there for sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure my panda is probably the tankiest thing on the field with the defense stats. Oh, wow. The strip, the push, oh, everything was perfect. Now, who's dying? My car is dead. But we have, we have Nana, so that's not too bad. Oh, he died to, hey, you died to the dot. Oh, because he died to the dot, I don't get any extra, extra stack for the Nana. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks, but you're going to die as well. And now we're going to move on to the Wusa. Beautiful proverb right there. One one proc, we're going to kill the Wusa very easy. Oh, big stun as well. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. What if he's going to violent? <laughs> Goodbye. With one defense break, my panda is doing like 10,000 per turn. That is not too bad. I want to find like a turn one player. Oh, he banned the Tian Lang for me. That's awesome. We should have Tian Lang. Right, guys? He banned the wrong panda. My wind panda is going to show him what's up. If you want to be a wind panda main, it is definitely not a good strategy. <laughs> Going turn two is hard. Going turn two is even harder for any average player out there because of how complicated playing turn two can be. You have to learn which unit counter which unit almost perfectly all the time. And... Can my Wind Panda solo a Gany Hathor? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. And it's all about reacting to the enemy draft and know how tanky you can be, how what passive counter, which skill, that kind of thing. So it's really hard. It's not like just you pick Riley, you pick Raccoonie, you have max rest on them and you pray. It doesn't work like that. I wish it worked like that, but it definitely doesn't. Can I give him Gany Hathor? I feel like I can give him Gany Hathor. Because either I get Carnal or Cigar, which are pretty good in the turn one against him. So we're going to ban that. He banned my Cigar and we get to keep Juno. Oh, but then there's Mei Ho Wang as well. If you want to play Wind Panda, tough, man. It, it really is tough. All right. Can I attack break you? Can I stun you? Oh my God, that is a very... Never mind. It was supposed to be an insane stun. So now if my, if my Carnal doesn't stun... The, you know what? I'm gonna go straight for the kill if I can. Oh, 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 I may kill him. I may, I will kill him. No stun on anyone though. But without Gany, Hathor alone is not that crazy. And if she miss something, it will be my time to shot. Oh, never mind. Oh, she does miss something. So Juno is back up as well. But the slow debuff on the monkey is gone, and the slow debuff on the Hathor is gone as well. Oh my, oh my God. Can I stun you? 
Wow, that is a very tanky Hathor with good artifact. Because I'm only doing a very small amount of damage. I have to stun her. Okay, so she can't get her cooldown back. Ouch. Fire Monkey is just like a great all-purpose bruiser. It can defense break. It can do good damage. <laughs> no, the panda is being absolutely abused. What do I do? If the panda's not moving, he's not doing anything for the team. Ouch. Jeez. Jeez, stop. Let me take a turn, please. I need to land one defense break on this Hathor, and we can kill it. But it's not. we're not getting anywhere. Good stun, good stun. Come on, don't, don't. How does he always get the violent after? Hey, we are not getting there, guys. <laughs> we can't kill this Hathor. We need to kill this Hathor. If he deep, he will definitely defense break. My panda, right? He's thinking about it. Why did he give me a free turn? Oh no! No, the heal. He's gonna have it. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. We can kill this. Good damage from the wind panda. Can we survive this though? Can we? Can we win this? Because one defense break and it's over. So I'm gonna go for it. Oh, <laughs> Wind Panda! Let's go! Oh my god, that is some good damage though. Really good damage. It always sucks when people take the bird away. Playing with a bruiser unit means you need to gain attack bar somehow. And for the 90% of plebeians that don't have a ragdoll, that is our ragdoll. And he just denied uh, our right to ragdoll. And that is just kind of sad, right? Is that a swift bird? Whoa, that is. If he's on swift, then that's very cool. And and I deserve to lose because he didn't draft like the bird was on swift. But now I think the bird is maybe on swift. Maybe. Is it? Oh, it's not. So we can actually put glancing on the bird. And we can reset the Riley and the attack bar. Oh, but we didn't push back anyone. That is very not not good. But, 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 but we can go for the kill on the Riley. No violent. And then we can stun the Riley. No stun. He double crit with glancing, of course. <laughs> we didn't stun him as well. Free attack bar. So who's going to take the hit here? That is... Not too bad. We can try to stun this guy. No stun. Good damage. Because, oh, I don't actually have to to do more damage than that. Because we can kill with this. That's for sure. I know. I'm on crit damage. We can provoke this. And she doesn't do anything. We can try to go for the stun here. <laughs> and then we're going to provoke you once again. Didn't get the provoke, but that's not too bad. So nobody really hit Wind Panda. It's kind of weird. To, to buff him like that because I don't think the Wind Panda needed a buff because in guild content, he was already really tanky. Unless he get defense broken by a Theomas, then the passive doesn't help him in any shape or form. So that was kind of a weird buff in my opinion. It just kind of, it kind of, it's kind of out of place. Yeah, it doesn't fix him in any shape or form and it doesn't really improve his performance in any other content per se okay looks like a good Gwyn panda game we've got two water victim over there already and he's going turn one as well which is great we can actually pick a leo here which benefit the wind panda greatly and for our last pick he's definitely banning leo so how do i counter that we can definitely go for oh he banned the hey gang so if we can bring in more protection that would be really good against this enemy so wind panda is actually very decent against Douglas. so we can Probably ignore that. I don't have to worry about that too much. I'm going to ban out the Oliver so that my Shizuka can keep her skill. If I get to keep my Leo, then I have two water units against Douglas. Nah, he has to ban Leo. So we're going to go for HP leader here. And drafting wise, we get protection. He lost his main control for Shizuka and Wusa. So in theory, I can close my eye and this game would still be my win. In theory. <laughs> and that's a game theory. Oh my god, my Juno's probably gonna die here. Is, is, is she gonna die? Is she gonna revenge? Oh, she, she's definitely dead. She is gone, guys. And there's no violent proc to work and save me from that. So we're gonna do this instead. There's no way I'm gonna one-shot that, that tail. But that, 
good damage. And then we're going to return all that back to him. And we are just super protected. <laughs> Doesn't matter who he hit. I am so protected. I don't even care. And we, we get some free return damage as well. And that is very cool. And we're going to try to kill this guy first. Because we still have immunity. I'm going to go for the boost, the, the cool time on this guy. So I can put back the, the buff thingy faster. And I didn't put that on the Wusa because the Wusa didn't use skill 3 just yet. So I'm going to save that for later. <laughs> so funny the buff of wind panda worked perfectly with a funny unit like shizuka right hey actually i'm gonna do this more buff so he can't spin the moment he spin the wind panda will visit him straight up he stripped my immunity out of all things are you kidding me right now oh no with defense break my damage reduction is gone i'm gonna die wait wait, wait. i'm actually gonna die wait if I don't sleep this guy, I'm dead. So might as well. And we're dead. Are we? Oh, we are not. We can heal. You underestimate me. You underestimate my raw tankiness without a passive. Now I'm back with a passive. So I'm just going to um, not let you die. <laughs> just going to not let you die, baby. And because he's a high defense unit, the heal from the Wusa works really, really well. Because Wusa heal is raw heal based on his HP. Look at that tankiness, baby. <laughs> Get that thing out of my face. I don't care about your Douglas. Look at this. Urgh! Ouch. Oh my God. That's kind of that's kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. Not going to lie. Ow, ow, ouch. Okay. Can I get the skill three, please? Can I get the quick skill three? And can I get a quick violent? Ouch. Ow. Oh. oh. But we're fine. We are fine. What is this? fire thing gonna do against me look at this eat all the stuff and then goodbye not bad we, we, we tank some damage well we, we can be a turn two player sometimes and look at that they're all water but they all ignore defense and they are all amazing against fangin summoners are in a nutshell where colors are just colors they don't mean anything <laughs> look at that like <laughs> they are all so good against fangin all of them. That is crazy. All right, we're going to go for HP leader because they all ignore my defense anyway. So we need the HP leader. We have the free to play wet jet on our team. If we our speed, we might get the upper hand because he's off wheel, right? We do our speed, but I don't take a turn. I actually don't take a turn. Holy sh! Having a speed lead is so good. Look at that. Look at my HP. Just all gone. He's going to boost the mouse and, and he's going to go again, ignoring defense. And a violent proc. Look at that. That unit was 50,000 HP. 50,000. That thing was a truck, mind you. And it got, it got murder in the first turn so quickly <laughs> because of mouse. Unbelievable. Okay, cut that thing. Yeah, cut that. All right, I'm going to steal your attack bar real quick. And then I'm going to put heal block on your ass. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Provoke you, maybe. That didn't do anything as well. I can't even buff properly because of the bulver on the other side. And I don't have damage reduction against the water. So this mouse is going to hurt extra bad against me. Do I heal? That's the only way. I have to heal. If I don't heal, I'm dead. <laughs> We're going to have to kill Rakuni somehow. Dude, dude, he hurts so much. God, it's so annoying. These dumb units. Come on, stun somebody. Oh, triple stun them. That's pretty nice. If we get one good defense break, my Asha can shred them. Yeah? Okay, we're not. We're gonna try to damage you. We're gonna try to damage you. Oh, additional damage. Not good enough. No, no, no. Don't let him do that. Oh, it's gonna violent proc. The mouse is gonna violent proc to finish me off. No. But I can't kill anyone. I really can't kill anyone. I just can't kill. <laughs> no, I can't kill it. It's so annoying. Come on, come on, come on. Do I heal? Does that mean anything? I'm going to heal. I'm going to try to... Come on! Okay, okay. And Panda? Panda survive? 
We're gonna hit. Come on, Valen, 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 Valen. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, buddy, we got the heal block as well. Yeah, heal that. Heal that. <laughs> heal that. Yeah, wet jab my ass. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. We got you. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, Panda, baby. The damage reduction. Oh, my God. All right, guys. That was a quick win, Panda Showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.